hello guys welcome to dotnet mo this is my fourth video tutorial in the series of crystal report tutorials for beginners in the previous video we have discussed how to use store procedures in crystal report in this video i will tell you how to create sub reports in crystal report so let's get started this is my visual studio 2013 for the demonstration purpose, I have created a Windows Form application with name subreport. Before creating crystal report, let me create a folder for adding new crystal report with name crystal report. Inside that, we will add our crystal reports. First of all, I am going to add a main crystal report. For that, right click on the folder then click on add new item select reporting from the left panel then select crystal report naming the report as crpt main click on add then from this dialog box i will select as blank report click on ok i will add a report header for that right click then insert text object I will enter sub report in crystal report. Let me format this object. For that, right click on it, then click on format object and go to font. Style will be bold. Let me increase the font size to 12. Click on OK let me expand this so that you can see the complete text in it now let me add a new crystal report right click on the folder then add new item select reporting then crystal report and name your report here i will name it as crpt report in project click on add select as blank report click on ok and i will add a header for that right click then insert text object header will be report inside same report let me expand this I'm going to format the object bold style font will be tool click on ok now let's add one more crystal report right click on the folder click on add new item select reporting then select crystal report name your report here I will name it as CRPT outside project report click on add And I'm going to add a header here right click insert text object text will be report outside project right click on it format object go to font bold style font size will be tool click on ok let me expand the text object now i am going to move this crystal report crpt outside project report into my desktop for that right click on the folder then click on open folder in file explorer then i am going to cut these two files from here and pasting in desktop now back to visual studio refresh right click on the report then click on delete click on ok ok the report is deleted now and in this report let me change this title here report inside same project not report now we are going to add sub reports inside our main report 
so let me add a sub report here for that right click then insert then sub report place your sub report in details section and after placing that you will get a pop-up dialog box like this from this dialog box itself you can say that there are three different ways to create sub report inside a main report first way is to create a sub report using the reports inside the same project and second one is using this option you can uh, create sub reports from the outside report and the last option is to create a new crystal report for this sub report so let me start with the first option choose a crystal report in project so from this drop down you will get all the crystal report inside this project so i selected crpt report in project click on ok so here we have the sub report that is created from this report sub reports in main report will take the um, space as much as much as the sub report width that we have given here if you expand this it will take that much space to display the content inside the sub report you can see the sub report preview if you click on this main report preview so while seeing this preview you can see that there is a border for our sub report and in order to remove that border you can right click on the sub report then click on format object then click on border here you need to select none from the drop down for all these four sides so that it will remove the border from four sides click on ok now if you check the preview you can see the uh, border for sub report now let me add another sub report into this main report using the second method for that i will add a section below this section 3 right click on this section then click on insert section below so here we have details b section inside that i will add a crystal report right click on the report then insert then click on sub report and place your report inside the details b section select choose an existing report option then click on browse then select the uh, report that we have just moved from this project click on open click on ok so now we added a report from outside the project into our main report as a sub report back to main report now if you check the preview you can see the sub report 1 and 2 now let's add our final sub report using the method 3 option for that let me add a section below this details b section then i'm gonna add a sub report here right click here then click on insert then click on sub report place your sub report inside the details c section then select the third option create a sub report with the report wizard name your report here i will name it as child report you can select data from the left panel that you need to design the report after that you can click on finish then click on ok if you double click on this sub report you can view the report let me add a title here insert text object i will enter the title as child report let me format that bold style then size will be 12 click on ok let me expand the title that's it back to main report so in this main report we have added three sub report 
using three different ways. If you check the main report, you can see them. Report inside same report, report outside project, then child report that is designed using the report wizard. Using method 1 and 2, we have created sub report using that is report inside the project and report outside the project. If you make any changes in this report, it won't affect the original report because these reports are created using a copy of them. So if you make any change in this report, it won't affect the original report. That means if you edit these titles here, report inside same report, I will edit the title and I'm gonna append a one to this title let me expand this and saving these uh, reports and if you check this CRPT report in project you can see the modification there because it is different and the sub report inside this main report is a copy of this report that's it guys in this video we have discussed how to create sub reports in crystal report in the next video we will discuss how we can pass data into these sub reports and how we can display multiple tables in crystal report you can find the related video links beneath this video please be subscribed to dotnet mob please like and share this video with your friends and colleagues so that they can benefit from this don't forget to comment your feedbacks have a nice day bye